Good morning. Happy hump day. Girl, why are we filming on Wednesday and not Monday? I thought I'd switch things up a little bit and do a, a two full days of eating, y'all, and see how that goes and just switch it up a little bit. I also wanted to dedicate this video to seeing my results post carnivore. So I'm going to go ahead and put up my weight that I weighed in on Monday. We weighed in at 134. That's the lowest I've ever weighed ever. <laughs> and that was a two pound loss on the carnivore challenge. When y'all watch that carnivore challenge video, I actually just lost one pound, but I continued the challenge and weighed Monday morning. I lost another pound. So I'm curious to see since going back keto, keto cut, if that has made a difference in my weight, and I already can tell you it's made a difference in the way that I feel. But outfit of the day real quick, I know I'm gonna forget guys, I'll tell you a story in a second. Killing it shirt that I got off Amazon, khakis, Walmart shoes, hair in a messy bun. We got some glowy natural makeup going on because I am so tired. I am, I feel like my eyeballs are falling out of my head, y'all. Trey slept with me last night and he had a pretty rough night not wanting to go to sleep. So I have been up pretty much all night and so has he. But where is he getting his damn energy back there? Y'all hear him? I don't even know. Breakfast this morning, it's like reunited and it feels so good. You know that song? I had my YQ, my perfect keto nut butter. We had the Lolly's granola. I had that Monday day too. Y'all didn't see that. You saw it on Instagram, I think, but I saved it for Wednesday today to show you guys because like I said, in a grocery haul or several grocery hauls and Instagram stories, that was the first thing I had to get back in my life was my YQ combo. Also had two boiled eggs. So I wanted to make sure I shared breakfast, especially for my newbies here. A lot of people are asking questions about what are you talking about? Because I have a lot of newbies. So welcome, welcome. And yes, that is my OG breakfast that I love so darn much. We also had our coffee and we tried our new nut pods, which is the hazelnut ones I got on sale at Marshall's. Pretty good. I don't like it as much as my vanilla, I will tell you, but it's good. It's like got a little chocolatey hint of a flavor paired with the chocolate collagen from Perfect Keto. Pretty tasty and everything always tastes better in my avocado mug. So the carnivore challenge last week, guys, definitely an eye-opening experience. I will say that the last few days on the challenge, because I did it for seven days, I was reading it at like a 0.2 on the Keto Coach every single day. I was reading at like a 0.5 and then got higher on Friday when you watch the challenge, but I was very, very low. Yesterday, I took ketones and posted on Instagram. I read in at a 0.6. Finally, we're back into ketosis on the monitor. And I've had a lot of questions on why are you so worried about the monitor? I'm not worried about the number or necessarily that I'm in ketosis. Why I like testing on the keto coach is because I like seeing if certain foods affect me, especially if I'm feeling a certain way. If they affect me, then I want to eliminate those from my diet thus going forward after the keto cut. So that's why I've been testing so much. This has been an entire experiment with the keto cut and I'm taking note moving forward after it's over. So just wanted to clarify that. A lot of questions about why I'm kind of obsessing over the keto coach numbers. I'm not. I'm just trying to experiment and I want to take you along with the process, guys. I never want to keep anything hidden from y'all. So if I'm reading in at a point one, y'all know a lot of y'all are like, why are your numbers so low? I show you my numbers. I'm not going to sugarcoat anything. I'm not just going to show you the days where I read in at a really high number. I'm going to show you every single day what I'm putting in my body and what my readings actually are just to give you an idea of what's going on because I know a lot of y'all go through the same thing where you have really low numbers, you beat yourself up, you binge because you're like, what's the point? And this will help you guys understand that what's going on with me might be going on with you too. So I hope you're having an amazing day. I hope you're not tired as all get out like I am. I feel like my eyes have weights on them and I am just like not know how I'm going to get through the day, but it's all right. We're going to make it through. My coffee's kind of kicking in. That's helping me a little bit. Today's also supposed to be a gym day, but guess what? We got our pre-workout back in our life. So that creatine should help a girl out. So we're going to push through guys. We're going to do the damn thing. We're going to show up and that's what you got to do. If you're having a bad day, if you had a bad night with your kids, if you were up all night with your newborn, you just got to keep showing up, doing the damn thing. Us moms out there, especially, we just got to keep doing it, y'all. There is no excuses. There is no saying that you can't. You just got to keep pushing forward and you just got to do it. Lunch today 
is a piece and a half of salmon from Walmart. This is the kind that I showed in my carnivore prep and the prep that you should have seen this past weekend with one tablespoon of Kerrygold butter. So it's going to melt on there like a little dipping sauce. So good. Just added some of that Redmond's lemon pepper real salt. That's all you need, guys. It's so, so good. You don't need anything else. Then I've got, what is this? I think this is 40 or 45 grams of strawberries. So I think that's two net carbs for the strawberries. And then I've got one of these Jack Snacks from Sam's Club. We act, we absolutely love these. These are supposed to be comparable to the Baby Bell. In our opinion, we like these better and they are a few dollars cheaper. So that's why I went ham and bought two bags of them in my Sam's Club monthly haul for March. I'll link that up above if you haven't seen it yet. It was a pretty epic haul. We got a lot of stuff, y'all. But this is lunch. This is a super low carb lunch. It's only got two net carbs for the entire thing. It's going to be full of protein to sustain me until snacky time. Did you keep mommy up all night? Did you keep me up? Hey, did you keep mommy up last night? Yes, you did, you little stinker. Little turkey. All right, y'all, it is 4.15. The girl made it, barely. That pre-workout, though, okay, first off, I had a student in my room, so I couldn't, like, show you my snack, but I'm gonna go ahead and pop it up. So it was a Keto Fit bar. I really like the chocolate one. It is so, so good if you haven't tried it. It's one of my new favorites. And then I did the Equip pre-workout. Love that stuff. The creatine in it, I know, is what gets me jacked. So my eyes are still heavy, but I've got the oomph and the energy that I need now. So thank you, Lord, for some equip. But now we're going to go up in this gym. I don't know if we're going to do legs or arms. It'll be a last-minute decision. And I'm excited about getting in there, and hopefully that will get me, like, pumped for the rest of my evening. Like, I need to get pumped now. But we made it. The, the message of the day, guys, is you can do it. Your mind definitely plays tricks on you, and it talks you out of getting things done. You got to overcome that and power through do the damn thing like we said this morning and get you know what done let's get in there and let's get it no excuses but soon enough everything starts to change as you grow up nobody treats you the same they try to take your future and make it real safe you could be a doctor accountant or something sane but yo whatever happened to the sky was the limit i fell in love with music never thought it was a gimmick i worked so hard on every tune and every single lyric my whole identity dependent on being artistic now you want to strip that away so you feel okay because if i make it to the top what does that really say that you shouldn't have given up that you made the mistake but if i fail you feel much better about picking your lane right yeah, things are gonna get better real soon Yeah, I'ma just do me, you just do you I swear it's gonna get better real soon Don't let anyone tell you what you should do I got a clear view We're gonna make it soon Just keep pushing through Yo, what you got to lose? Yo, what you got to lose? What you got to lose? Got to lose. 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 I won't give up. I won't back down. Until the line's in shit underneath the deep ground. I won't give up. I won't back down. Cause nobody's not me except for me now. Life's a competition, so if I'm going to play, then I'm gonna play to win it. I refuse to sit and rot at a desk all day unless I have a passion I'm working towards, okay? I'd rather be dead on the outside than inside a bullet to the head. For once, we get out of the gym and you can see a girl. It is daylight. I love this daylight savings time, except for the fact that the government steals an hour from us initially, but we get it back. You know, it, it all equals out, and I just love it staying daylight longer in the day. However, I feel like it's earlier, and then I look up, and it's 9 o'clock at night, and I'm like, oh, snap, I haven't done anything I need to do. But besides that, I like it. I like the lightness. I like the brightness. Y'all, killer workout. What is my life? So this morning, y'all saw I was feeling so tired, running on like two hours of sleep, 
that's probably one of the best workouts I ever freaking did on two hours of sleep. All right, everybody, the key to success with working out is don't sleep and then go to the gym. No, no, I'm, I'm just being sarcastic, guys. But for me, it worked out today. I don't know if it was because I wanted to prove myself like wrong, like you're not tired, you're gonna go in there, you're gonna be beast mode, you're gonna show up, you're gonna do the damn thing, and you're gonna kill it. And I actually proved myself right. Like all the positive thoughts turned out to be a positive ending. So that's what I wanna spread today is have positive thoughts, guys, even when you're feeling like total crap, like that was the majority of my day. Until I had my pre-workout, by the way, that equip pre-workout is freaking life. If you're not drinking bangs, get the freaking equip pre-workout in your life. What are you guys even doing? That stuff is like instantaneous, legit. That creatine and all the other goodness in there gets me going ASAP, ASAP guys, it gets me going. Like I was struggling last week on carnivore, this week going back into the gym with no sleep, with that pre-workout, got the girl going. We did a 10 minute mile today again without stopping. And today was the first day on the treadmill. Like I felt like I could go another probably three, four minutes. And I was going to, and I was like, you know what? Don't push yourself. This is the third time you've run a 10 minute mile. That is a non-scale victory. You did a good job, like triumph. I always tell you guys, give yourselves a pat on the back for doing anything that is out of your comfort zone, anything that you've worked hard to obtain. Give yourself credit, show off, brag about it, make yourself feel good about it because you freaking earned it and you deserve it. So I was like, don't push yourself. Maybe next time, maybe next time, girl, when you only get two hours of sleep and some and some equip workout, then you can go in there and run like 15 minutes and then, you know, post about it. We didn't push ourselves, but we did some arm workouts on the machines. I didn't like film every little thing. I did some dumbbell work, as y'all saw. I did do a little bit of bar, but not much because I'm trying to focus on chest and some other key areas that I've been neglecting, I feel like. And then we ran the 10 minute mile. Oh, by the way, the thing where you move the little ball side to side y'all that is like planks on steroids so if you hate planks like just sitting there you might think it's boring all you can think about is when to stop do the little movement from side to side that is such a killer core workout oh my gosh it is so killer and I'm trying to implement planks or something like that every single workout to work my core I really think that is good and beneficial I've had the question a lot lately with hey, if I work out seven days a week, is that gonna get rid of my loose skin? Is it going to do this for me? Am I going to gain the muscle like you have? Guys, you have to take to account that I have been working out since last January, 2019, and I still have areas where I need to improve on. I only saw started to see significant muscle growth in my upper area, in my butt just here recently, my legs, just here recently. Arms probably over the summer, but I worked the crap out of them. But guys, you have to give yourself time. This is a journey. Slow and steady wins the race. It's not a quick fix. You're not going to be able to push a button and say, hey, I want all this gone and it sucks it off when you go into the gym. It just doesn't work like that. Trust me, if it did, I'd be pressing a button right here all the time. It just doesn't, guys. In some places, it doesn't matter how beast mode you are in the gym. You're never gonna lose some loose skin if you've been obese, morbidly obese. There's just some things that, you know, working out can't get rid of from some of the things that we neglected for so long but you can make your inner healthy. You can tone. I've seen so much cellulite gone since I've been working out. I've seen so much tonage. So yes, it can definitely improve, but don't feel like it's going to happen overnight because it's not. I'm gonna go ahead and give you the upset news. It's not gonna happen. I've had that question a lot lately. I wanted to address that. But as you can see guys, why the hell can we not work out first thing in the morning? I am so freaking pumped. If I would have done this this morning, my day would have been lit. <sighs> Summer, where ya at, girl? So it is about seven o'clock. We are testing ketones and I came in at a 0.3. So yesterday I was at a 0.6 every day prior to today's Wednesday throughout the weekend. Monday, I was coming in at a 0.2 or a 0.3 and I've been eating clean, been incorporating a couple of new, you know, not new, but keto things back since the carnivore challenge. Y'all saw what we had today. When I had this exact combo on Monday, I came in at a 0.3. Yesterday, I had a cleaner breakfast, not 
all of the lollies and the nut butter, which that's clean, but it's a little bit higher in carbs. I came in at a 0.6. We did work out today though, so that factors in dropping your ketone levels as well. Am I mad about it? Absolutely not, guys. So again, like I had the question about why am I worried about this? I'm not. I'm just using it to gauge how it's affecting my body with foods. And I highly suggest you guys do that as well. So that way you can kind of cater your meal plan on what's being the best for you and getting the best results instead of, you know, beating your head around the bush, beating your head around like, why am I not losing? Why am I in a stall? Why am I in a plateau? It might just be the simplest thing like you eating one thing might be throwing you totally off. So that's why I use the Keto Coach to keep me accountable and make sure what affects me or not. So tonight is dinner on repeat for us. Y'all haven't seen it yet except on the gram. I've got my chaffle bowl maker, guys. If you don't have a dad, little maker for your chaffles or this bowl maker you need it in your life ASAP this was a game changer way back when we were doing keto in the beginning stages if you've been with me since then you know I've got I just do this is half a serving for the bowl so this is one egg and half a cup of cheese you can do any type of cheese that you want I've got some of the Redmond's let me grab it some of this Redmond's garlic pepper that I put in there as well. You can make these sweet with some mozzarella and put some cinnamon, a little bit of monk fruit in there and put some chalk zero syrup on top. Talk about perfection, guys, or even make like a sandwich out of it. Y'all can see I'm hungry. So I made some sloppy joes from the Southern Keto Cookbook and we like to eat those in bowls. So I'm gonna put this in here, get my bowl ready. The longer you cook it, guys, the crispier it gets. Like I let, I forget about these. I just like set them and forget them because the longer you leave them, the better they are in my opinion anyway. So I'm gonna put this in here, let it get burnt up and we're gonna eat it. So here's my chaffle. You can see like how crispy it is. It is crisp, all right? So I like mine crispy. I don't like it soggy. If you take it out too early, it can be pretty limp, if you know what I mean. So I've got my sloppy joes actually in the microwave. Don't get triggered. We're gonna add some cheese, some sour cream, and of course, since carnivore we got the avocado back in our life you want to eat one of these a day if you were doing keto y'all because that's going to give you a thousand milligrams of potassium so good for you heart healthy ingredients that you're going to need while on your keto journey whether you're keto or not you need to incorporate avocado in your life some way even if you don't like it they have smoothie recipes and stuff i've got a avocado brownie recipe on my channel and the keto recipes playlist go check that out so you can get your avocados in and not even know it if you are an avocado hater. I weighed everything up on my scale as far as my cheese on top. I've got one ounce of cheese, a tablespoon of sour cream, and one avocado. I'll pop up the macros right here. I've got the sloppy joe already in there. You can't see it. My chaffle bowl. This is going to be so flipping good, y'all. If you have not tried this, get this in your life. Game changer. Chaffles are game changers for sure. If you're new here, then you don't know that we lick bowls, we gnaw on bones, and we pretty much do not leave anything behind ever. So all of my people that have been with me for a long, long time know that this girl likes to eat and we never, uh, there's probably less than 10 times you've seen in over a year on a vlog where I've left anything behind. Probably less than five, let's be honest. I just love food something fierce and that's why I love keto so much because it's it's such a sustainable lifestyle in my opinion and the food is delicious. I mean, how can you complain about the things that we are allowed to eat on this lifestyle? Okay, so the avocado. I've been missing some avocado, something fierce, but those avocados are avocados I had prior to the challenge that I've had in the fridge, and they're just not the best. I bought some other ones, so hopefully this weekend they'll be pretty darn tasty. And then I can't have any more for the egg fast we got going on if you're watching this on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, the 16th through the 18th. We got an egg fast going on. This is March Madness, y'all. We are doing all the things. We're pushing ourself and making us see what our bodies are capable of. My body was capable of eating all that. It was so freaking good. It is time to wind down. I'm taking my supplements and I wanted to show if anybody was new here. I've been showing this almost every vlog just to make sure that y'all know what supplements I'm taking because I get the question a lot. So I take two of the 250 milligram magnesium. You can get this from your local drugstore, Dollar General, whatever. Just make sure you check your ingredients that it doesn't have like maltodextrin and sugar and cane syrup because they like to add that garbage in a lot of our supplements. I have found since looking and being ingredient cautious now, I am taking the turmeric blend in the morning and I'm taking one at night as well. I've upped my dosage because you can do three tablets a day. They currently don't have any of this on their website for Equip. I love this 
stuff. I really think it gets the inflammation and the bloating down for sure, and it's really good for the body. A lot of y'all were upset because they were sold out. I talked to them, and they're getting more back in stock. So they told me to ju y'all just keep checking the website. They're trying to stock it and the other flavor of the pre-workout. So definitely keep checking for that because that stuff is like super blend right there. It's so good. And then I have been taking the grass-fed liver. And last week, I had asked y'all to comment for a surprise, and I picked five winners to get a two-month supply of the grass-fed beef liver. Now, I just realized I, I've been taking more than one, but you can take up to six per day. This is um, six of them is actually a serving. So if you, a serving size is six. I know that sounds like a lot, but in six, that's 3,000 milligrams of beef liver powder and two grams of protein. And it's really, really good for you, especially for my carnivore peeps. If you don't like eating liver, but you still want the same effects from it, you need to get this in your life. This stuff is awesome. And I have a discount always with Equip. And like I said, y'all should have put y'all's comment with your Instagram thing last week because I picked five people for a surprise to get two months of a supply of this. So congrats to those winners I posted on Instagram. But yeah, this stuff is awesome, guys. I love Equip because their stuff is so clean. It doesn't have added fillers like I was just saying. Definitely need to check them out. And their pre-workout, like you saw earlier, gets the girl jacked. Look who I got this morning, y'all. And what's he got on his feet? New boots we got from Sam's, y'all. Just $11, can y'all believe that? And they light up. You like them, Way? We're gonna have a good day at school? What color are you gonna be on? Gray. Good job. Good morning, happy Friday. Oh my goodness, y'all. It has been a week, it has been a week. I hope y'all are staying safe. I hope you're staying indoors as much as you can physically, possibly humanly can um, with all the craziness going on. I think it's being blown up way out of proportion. I'm not taking it lightly though. It's very serious, but I just think that the media is absolutely crazy, y'all. So just calm down. Go and get your little pack of toilet paper and go bunker up. It's going to be all right. It's going to be all right. But wash your damn hands. You just got to wash your hands, people, and that is going to make everything all right. And we should be washing our hands whether we got anything going on or not. I don't know what's been going on with that. Breakfast this morning, we had the crepini wraps, y'all. That is so good. I put a piece of cheese, a sunny side up fried egg on there, and sausage this time instead of bacon. And you just put it in the microwave. Don't get triggered. For like a minute. And yes, the egg still stays runny. I've had that question because I cook them like perfect and then when you heat them up they don't like cook cook if that makes sense so stinking good zero net carbs coffee oh my gosh coffee is life but I'm finding that the great value hazelnut one I got I don't know like I'm kind of skeptical of the great value I've heard a lot of people tell me that they have carbs in them uh they found out that they have carbs and then I searched for the hazelnut and it says no but you can't trust everything especially online when it comes to the nutrition facts so we shall see but I'm staying away from it right now I'm trying to drink as much regular non-flavored coffee as possible today's was a vanilla I love that Folgers vanilla biscotti so good but I've just been buying purchasing going for just regular coffee and amping it up with my nut pods and stuff like that and my perfect keto collagen so we shall see but uh, the girl love some coffee. I could drink like 10 cups of this a day. Outfit of the day is Target head to toe. This is a universal thread, like almost cropped, like oversized top. Absolutely love it. I should have bought more colors. And these are my universal thread jeans that I always have. And then of course we got some Converse and we're just going like comfy casual. Today we get to wear jeans for work because we don't have students today. So you saw me have Waylon. That is because Trey is off of school. He's home with Momo and I still have to come to work to finish up a record keeping day, but we get to wear jeans. Yeah, yeah. So today is also a gym day. Yes, I'm going to the gym, even with the mass hysteria going on. I'm going before they shut it down, honestly. Like, I feel like that's about to happen. That's approaching. But I am like, I got my hand sanitizer everywhere I go, guys. I've got my Clorox wipes, my Lysol wipes everywhere I go. I am wiping stuff down everywhere and just being extremely cautious. And you know what? We should be doing that anyway, whether they got something going on or not, right? So I'm feeling amped. I'm feeling good. Today's Friday. I got the vibes flowing. I hope you got the vibes flowing today. 
today. This is a two day what I eat in a day video instead of the whole week. So I kind of broke it down a little bit so we can just like be more detailed in the two days. I feel like the week longs get really long and I know a lot of y'all love that and a lot of y'all hate it. But I thought we'd just break it down to two days um, this week and focus on two days of eating and two gym day. So let me get in there and get some work done. We'll be a little bit productive. We'll show you what's for lunch today. Lunch today is some Teton little sausages we got from Costco way back when. I'm just now eating them. I have to say they are pretty darn tasty. I think this is like two net carbs though. So I'd rather have like the full on sausage in my opinion. I like it a little bit better than these little ones. And I will say that Waylon loved these. I'll definitely pick up little Smokies from him in the future because I'm always looking for a good protein source for him. He is such a picky eater. My four year old got some macadamia nuts from Walmart. I got some damn berries, AKA the strawberries. That's 45 grams, I think. One of those Jack Snacks from, uh, I was going to say Walmart, from Sam's Club. They're so, so good. We like those better than the Baby Bell ones. Oh my gosh, on point. And then I've got some Dijon mustard. I'm going to dip for my little Smokies instead of barbecue or some ketchup. And then I did bring two of my beef liver capsules because you're supposed to take six a day, like I mentioned, and I'm trying to get it in. So that is lunch today. I think this is like five net carbs total. I'll have the macros being popped up but delicious a little keto lunch bowl. I like switching it up like this and having a little bit of everything, a little something, something. So it's three o'clock y'all and I will explain in the car, but it has been a hell of a crazy day. I'm gonna eat a perfect keto bar. I just got an order in. Y'all know chocolate chip cookie dough and salted caramel are my favorites and I got stocked up on the bars. Thank you Lord for that. And I think I'm gonna take my Equip Pure workout and my perfect keto shaker because I'm supposed to go to the gym, but it is crazy times around here right now. I am staying calm, um, but everybody around me is going cray, all right, cray, absolutely cray. We will talk about it, but I think I'm gonna do it. I'm just gonna try to be as normal as possible until basically they tell me I can't. Y'all, what a day. So y'all comment down below, what is going on in your area with this coronavirus because Schools are closed for us until April the 13th. You heard me right, like what is going on? And I don't even know if I'm supposed to report back to work. We kind of, Everything kind of happened in a whirlwind before we left today for our teacher day. As y'all heard me say earlier, I was kind of like joking about it. And I am not worried about the virus itself. I'm not taking it lightly, but I am more worried about the chaos in our world with the media and everything like that and the like doomsday thoughts that are going through people's head and the way that they're responding and reacting versus the virus itself. So that's what scares me the most, not with the virus, but I'm taking precaution. I am going to the gym. I know you might think I'm crazy and I might get a lot of hate for that, but I'm trying to be as normal as possible and not you know, dive into those mass hysteria and things like that. I'm being precautious. I have my hand sanitizer. I'm washing my hands. I'm going to be wiping down the equipment here, sanitizing like crazy, um, and just trying to live my normal life because I don't want to feel like it's the end of the world. You know what I mean? Yeah, I just, oh my gosh, I just don't even have words. I feel like I'm in an outer body experience on what's going on. So I'm going to take you guys with me after we go to the gym. I have an online grocery pickup I'm supposed to do tomorrow, but I'm hearing horror, horror stories about it and they're probably not going to have what I want anyway. So I think I'm going to go in store and just stock up so we don't have to leave as much as possible, if that makes sense. There's some issues going on with Waylon's school as well. Like they still have school for him and I know this might get me some flack, but we're probably going to send him to school just because if we don't guys, he will lose his spot and he cannot lose his spot in that school. So they're being very precautious there as well. So don't hate on me for sending Waylon to school. It's not a public school. It's a private setting. Trey is not going to be going to school obviously because he's in public school, but that's going to be detrimental for him with his autism now because he's not going to be in his routine. So I'm going to have to figure out some activities and do some things at home to kind of keep his routine going as well. So this has a lot of effects, a lot of stuff, all right? So, man, it's just like crazy times, just craziness right now. So don't shame on anybody for the de decisions they're making, guys. Don't hate on anybody. We're all doing the best that we can in this situation and just trying to live our lives the cleanest and most sanitary as possible while still having a life that makes sense and not going stir crazy. 
25 to life in a cubicle alone just trying to get by building someone else's dream instead of building mine if you're hearing me this is meant to inspire if you have a dream or if you have desires a girl in your life that's making you feel that fire go fight for her man go die for her man because you only have one life one chance to do it one chance to prove it to yourself so don't lose it you got this fam just keep pushing on through it one day you'll look back so glad you pursued it yeah Things are gonna get better real soon Yeah, I'ma just do me, you just do you I swear it's gonna get better real soon Don't let anyone tell you what you should do I got a clear view We're gonna make it soon Just keep pushing through You're yeah, what you got to lose You're yeah, what you got to lose workout and the gym was dead y'all saw that it is a Friday I'm not gonna blame it just on the mass hysteria with the coronavirus I will say I was gonna film but I was like he's gonna think you're a total like stalker weirdo but our planet fitness I have to get kudos give kudos to because they were sanitizing and cleaning things I've never seen them clean before in over a year hats off to you planet fitness you were doing the damn thing you were cleaning up oh my gosh the entire time they were doing amazing wiping down equipment I have to say every single person in there working out was wiping stuff down like I've never seen before why haven't we been doing that before people maybe the flu wouldn't be so bad and other things if we've been wiping down the equipment I legit was like taking the bottle the spray bottle with me and like packing it around and then putting it back because I saw other people trying to get it but they have two of them at each station but I like doused each thing that I was doing before and after just being really you know proactive guys just be proactive wash your hands make sure you're drinking plenty of water they're learning more about this day by day and new studies are coming out on what we need to be doing to help boost our immune system help prevent this so i think it's definitely something that can be preventable but the everybody has to take their own measures in doing it right so we have to be accountable wash your hands you know clean up after yourself that type of thing and i have to say they were doing remarkable and it felt good for some normalcy because all day at work it felt like armageddon at work i'm not gonna lie it was like doomsday and everybody was so train wrecked nerve wracked it was really really bad i have to say and i just kept trying to be calm this helped give me some normalcy and make me feel at peace a little bit of course they did have like cnn and fox news all over the the actual tvs but i was trying to refrain from watching and just try to stay, stay in my zone guys and i mean i really am taking this seriously i want y'all to know that and i am being proactive and i do feel like you need to stay indoors as much as possible so we are off of work up until wednesday i think at least or tuesday trey doesn't have school like i said so we're going to stay indoors as much as possible the reason why like i mentioned earlier we are bringing waylon to school is because he will lose his spot there is such a high demand obviously for child care because school is shut down and people still have to go to work for most jobs so they're looking for a place to bring their children because they can't bring their children to work so this is a really bad situation overall for everybody for the economy for finance and for people's livelihood and we're gonna bring him even though i could keep him home with me we're gonna bring him because if not other people are gonna get his spot and then he won't be able to go to school next year and we have to make sure that he's getting what he needs if that makes sense so that's why I'm bringing him. Um, they are doing really, really well at his school with making sure that they are on top of things with sanitizing, cleaning things down, keeping kids at home if, it, if they think that they're sick of any nature. So we're being proactive. Um, I'm supposed to be going to the grocery, as I mentioned earlier, but I need to go pick up Waylon. Traffic's bad. Everybody's out and about. Everybody, like I said, is mass like panic here. I'm not in that mode, but I do want to go to the grocery store later and stock up more on things that I would y'all know I usually go to the grocery store weekly but we're gonna go for a couple of weeks so again I'm not going out to Walmart every single week I'm just going out and we're good for a couple of weeks and we don't have to go into a mass packed area with germs if that makes sense so I might be spending a little bit more than I want to spend this week but just note that's because I'm trying to be proactive and you know get what we need so we don't have to go out as much that's the plan 
workout wise, I have a total tangent there. Workout was leg day. I did the devil and I did the devil for 10 minutes. I decided to do that. And I feel like I get a, I'm sweating. I feel like a sweaty beast. I feel like goody beats off oh, Logan. He's always doing the Stairmaster guys. He does the no hands challenge. I'm not quite there yet. I can do no hands for like three minutes. And then I'm like, boy, I got to do the hands. Are we going to fall off the damn thing? So I did it for 10 minutes. We did 50 flights of stairs. I did the thing back and forth with the planks. I highly recommend. And we did my normal leg circuit, except for the things that I've featured that I've added to the leg circuit do that two times in a row guys my leg video plus the new things I've added and your legs will be dead you can do that at home so that's a good thing you can do you don't have to go to the gym you can do that at home and you don't have to be exposed to anything so man crazy times y'all 2020 what the actual hell <laughs> Okay y'all, so right across the street from where we went to eat is a Winn-Dixie and I'm legit getting a couple things. I'm gonna continue to do the online grocery pickup tomorrow at Walmart. I know, risky because everything was selling out. I was adding things to my cart, but I don't wanna go in store over there because it's crazy, not so bad here. So we'll see tomorrow, I'll bring you along and see if we are able to get anything at the Walmart grocery pickup. Y'all are asking me about Atkins bars, guys. I'm gonna make a whole dedicated video towards the Atkins stuff and the Slim Fast, just letting y'all know. So good thing we are keto. There is no bread up in sight. I mean, you could get some cinnamon swirl and I would not mind that if I wasn't keto, I'm just saying, but uh, everybody's stocking up on that bread, on that carb life. I legit came in here for ground meat and I don't know if you can see way back there, but they are out of every meat possible. And I just came here yesterday and was able to get steaks and they had meat galore, but they announced schools were closed today and everybody goes into mass panic. So let's hope this Walmart grocery pickup comes through for us guys, or I don't know what I'm gonna do. Girl needs some meat up in her life. Second store, let's see if we can buy some ground meat. Other store was white. So no ground beef, but we can get some more steaks. I'm down with that. It is super late. It's like one in the morning. Girl, what are you doing up? I'm uploading a video always. The grind, the grind, y'all. I'm uploading a video for you guys and it's taking forever. Ugh, YouTube's been acting crazy lately too. But I didn't pick up the steaks. I just wanted to pop on here and give you an update. I didn't pick up the steaks because I bought some and they're beautiful and I don't need to go buck wild because I think that, you know, the stores will be stocked next week. Um, especially since everything's sold out now and everybody's went cray cray. So I think next week will be okay. And I'm not going to go there as far as mindset goes, but I am going to do my online grocery pickup. I'm going to take you with me. Hopefully we get some things. As I was adding stuff, it was already like, you know, selling out. So we'll see. And I'm not going crazy. Just some essentials that we need for the next week and a half, basically. So we don't have to go out and about and until they can get more stock in. So no ground meat, probably won't get any tomorrow. It is what it is. Thank God we do a monthly Sam's Club or a big box haul because we got enough food. We'll just have to change the meal plan. That's all. No biggie. We destroyed breakfast. I love a yogurt combo. Y'all know that. Today was too good with some high key is what we chose today. I usually go for the lollies, but I'm really loving this maple pecan. If you like a more crunchy granola, this is the one you need to get. Guys, excuse all the noise, real life back here. And of course we had to use our Be Fierce mug today with our coffee, with our nut pods, so good, and our Perfect Keto Collagen. By the way, I just found out that Perfect Keto starting today, if you're watching this Monday through Wednesday, is gonna have a special like site-wide uh, St. Patrick's Day 20% off all products. So if you didn't catch on that 10 off 40 last week, definitely check that out. I think there's gonna be, excuse you Trey, 
I think there's gonna be one opportunity left to uh, get some good deals for Perfect Keto, but that's the last one, I think, for all products. So definitely check that out this month. I'll have it linked down below. It is so noisy in here, guys. It's ridiculous. We had our breakfast. We got the things to do. Let's go and get ourselves dressed. 121, we're still waiting on our Walmart grocery pickup. It has been delayed, obviously. I knew that, and we're probably gonna get a couple of things. It's all right, we got food, we're gonna make it work. So I've got an Angus patty with a piece of pepper jack, a little mustard, two eggs that I prepped that need to be eaten. That's why this is like kind of weird looking. And my avocado, one avocado. How this video has turned from my original intent, guys. Mm -mm, three days, we got some stuff to talk about as well but this is going down first. So I just finished my lunch. Y'all know we don't leave anything behind. No food left behind. We even ate our prep stuff, so that wouldn't go bad either. But I just got a notification from Walmart, y'all, and it doesn't look bad. There was a few substitutions. I mean, I'm not even mad about it, given the circumstances, and there was a few out-of-stock things that I kind of figured, but for the most part, not bad. So now we gotta go see how long we gotta wait. So make sure to stay tuned for the Juicy Grocery Haul this Tuesday. You're not gonna wanna miss it, I'm sure. I don't even know what I'm talking about, but you know, like, it's crazy times out there. And we picked up a little bit more than we usually do just to make sure that we're not getting out of the house like every single day. So I'm gonna get Trey ready. Hi, Trey. You ready, buds? Trey, Trey. You're not paying attention and we're gonna go and get these groceries. Back home, Walmart, a grocery order done, y'all. It was amazing. Definitely watch that video. I have to say, Walmart was a class act today. So today's video, or this week's video, was supposed to be like a carnivore compared to my keto cuts regimen, and it just went for a complete 360, right? I mean, this has been absolutely insane, but let's go ahead and talk about the weight, because that's what I wanted to focus on was about carnivore versus keto, and I weighed in at 134.2 or 0.4, and then this morning, I popped in with the same exact weight, which usually never happens for me, and I was really surprised by which coming off of carnivore and going back to the keto cut, but the keto cut definitely prepared me for carnivore because I eliminated the sweeteners already. I didn't have the cravings. I was going pretty ketovore already. I just kind of pulled back on the avocado and things like that when doing carnivore. So when I ate this week, my keto cut style, it didn't really change anything. And I was happy to see that. So happy to see like, even if I keep things kind of ketovore going forward after the keto cut, but implement a sweet here and there, it's not going to like stall my progress and it's not going to throw me off course a ton. So really happy with that comparison between carnivore and keto cut style way of eating. I am getting flooded, flooded with messages about this mass hysteria with the coronavirus and everybody getting off plan and getting off course and what can they do to stay on course. They don't want to be in a stall. They don't want to reverse all the awesomeness that they've done with their lifestyle, with their health, with their weight loss. This is what I want to say. Try to make your life, like I mentioned earlier in this video, as normal as possible. Get your groceries and have them. Don't go and get crazy. Like you don't need a hundred things of toilet paper, y'all. I mean, you don't need a hundred things of ground meat. They're going to restock these things. Just get what you're out of this week or in the next two weeks is what I did so I don't have to be out and about and exposed to people. But I didn't stock up for like two months or anything because I know they're gonna restock. We don't have to fight over these things and you're gonna have the essentials that you need. But you wanna make your life as normal as possible. That way we're not thinking about this. The media is hyping this up. They're making you want to be super scared. It's just mass chaos. We need to keep things as normal as possible, go about our daily lives, and just keep it as normal swim as possible, if that makes sense. So I'm going to continue to prep. I'm going to continue to eat my keto cut meals. I'm doing the egg fast. I hope y'all are joining me this Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday of this week. I am going to be doing all the normal things. I'm even going to try to go to the gym as much as I possibly can. I'm probably gonna have to incorporate some things at home more, and you can do that as well. So I have that leg day workout. I have a stomach when filmed. If y'all want me to post it, I've been holding off posting it. It's an 
at-home stomach routine. What a great time, right? If y'all want me to post that, y'all let me know in the comments below if you want to see that, like ASAP, because I will post it. If you are afraid to leave because of what's going on, if your area is highly affected, you can still make this lifestyle work, guys. We've said this, no matter what thro is thrown at us, no matter what curveballs, you can live a ketogenic lifestyle, be successful, no matter what your situation. And I firmly believe that even with all the crazy town stuff going on right now, we can make it work. I hope you are joining the challenge because that's going to keep your mind focused on something. It's going to keep you goal driven toward reaching and obtaining that goal after three days. And you're not going to be thinking about all this nonsense that's going on. And you can still reach goals and be successful. Just try to keep things as normal as possible. Wash your damn hands. Wash your hands. Wash your hands. And you know, just be cautious. Just be cautious. And we should be doing this anyway. It do doesn't take coronavirus and like, like mass shutdown for us to be doing those things on a daily basis and I hope everybody gets the memo and the message that we should be doing that even after this is over and said and done with that you should be taking those precautions and just be overly cautious and washing your damn hands. So that being said that's what this video has turned into is like doomsday. <laughs> doomsday prepping getting ready for everything it was just it was craziness yesterday guys on Friday it can it took me completely by surprise I will have to say I did not expect that coming I mean I've been seeing everything I'm very aware of what's going on in the media and watching everything but for it to hit home like it did and for people to act the way they acted down here and it affect my job and it affects schools and everything it just really hit home and made me very anxious for like I said before, not the virus. I'm, I'm not taking it lightly, but I'm not afraid of the virus. I'm afraid of people's reactions and how they treat one another in this type of situation. So that's what worries me the most. On a lighter note, y'all, I hope you enjoyed what I eat in a day. Things are definitely going to be a little bit different going thus forward since I'm going to be off of work until April 13th. So I'm probably going to change up the meal plan a little bit. Some things that I plan is basically because I know I'm going to a work setting. I'm eating lunch on duty type of setting. Now I can kind of make things at home. I'm going to be homebound. So things will be a little bit different. I'll try to film as much like what I eat in a day in more detail for you guys since I will be home. So that'll be pretty cool. So I'm looking forward to that. Looking forward to bringing you guys some new projects um, while I have a little bit of spare time on my hands. So on the upside, I'm trying to look at the bright side of the situation. Also, don't forget we've got that 20% perfect keto site-wide promo that they have for St. Patrick's Day going on the 16th, 17th, and 18th that's on everything i think they're gonna have one more promo available for y'all this month with a special surprise but until then go and stock up guys because we need that collagen in our life you need the electrolytes you need the base you need all that especially if you're doing the intermittent fasting challenge we have going on at the end of the month again another distraction from this corona craziness join me for the march madness the march madness in a positive good way thank y'all so much for watching i hope you enjoyed today's video it was supposed to be way shorter than this i know it was supposed to take a whole different direction I know but life happens we document it here I'm very transparent with you guys I want to keep it real 100% I want to let you know how I'm feeling with things that are going on with my lifestyle my weight loss my keto cut progress the craziness in this world and we can all relate together and I think that's why we have such a great community here because we lift motivate inspire each other and we relate to each other most importantly. I hope you guys are being safe out there. I hope you're taking care of yourself out there. Be aware, be present, um, just wash your hands and everything will be fine. Everybody just needs to calm down, get your essentials that you need just for this week and hunker down, calm down, and we can still see progress, guys. We can still reach our goals. Don't give up on yourself just because you have hysteria going on around you. Still take care of yourself no matter what's going on around us. I love y'all so much. Please, please take care of yourself and we will definitely, definitely see you in the next video. Bye.